My name is Elliot Myers and I'm one of the founders of the Roto. Roto is the first motorized virtual reality platform. We noticed that when we first started playing with VR is, is we, once you're in a new environment, you look around for a few seconds, maybe 10, maybe 20 seconds. Um, you rarely look directly behind you. Um, and after a while, you end up playing VR like a normal video game. Even in a movie, um, you don't tend to look around that much. And VR is supposed to be a 360 degree experience. So it's really important that people can explore 360 degrees in a natural, intuitive, comfortable, safe, and fun way. So we, we designed Roto from the ground up specifically uh, for all the headsets out there, all the games, all the movies, uh, to address those key issues. So you, you, we've got a platform uh, which comes uh, with the uh, sort of foot pad intuitive control mechanism. So the first thing is, is, is how to make exploration in VR uh, fun and, and, and comfortable and how to give people the inclination to turn around. And what we've Obviously with a DK2 headset you've got cables attached so when you start to turn around you feel it snagging which removes that uh, the, 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 the sense of immersion uh, but if you turn more than 180 degrees you start getting tangled in the cables so we've created a, a slip ring solution so that you can turn around infinitely uh, as many times as you like it works um, and, uh, and now we can resolve at least one of those issues but how do you get people to actually uh, turn around if you're on a swivel chair and you feel your feet on the floor that ruins the sense of, of, of immersion too uh, and also most people can't really be bothered to do it um, so to make it easy for them uh, we've added a motor inside with these foot pad controls so I, I twist it left to go left I twist it right to go clockwise or anti-clockwise up to 35 rpm so it's quite responsive um, the point being is now easy and no physical exertion to tell very little to turn around so now as you'll see behind people are spinning and looking around in 360 exploring properly uh, without using the thumbstick and that's important because if people are sitting there facing forwards like they do currently in VR and they're using the thumbstick to navigate then what happens is is because your inner ear is stationary because you're in a stationary chair stationary position but the world is spinning around then you start to get nauseous so we're addressing nausea too so comfort safety fun that's how we get people the inclination to explore for more than sort of 30 minutes um, on top of that we've got a motor inside the base so um, what that does is, is in combination with tracking which way we're facing we can give uh, movie directors the ability to turn us towards you know a t-rex that might be coming behind us which is really important because as a movie director how do you engage with people that there is a t-rex behind you where you can use audio you can use visual clues but it's so much easier for everyone involved if they can just physically turn you towards the action which is what the roto does and inside the base we've got a, a shaft encoder which tracks which way you're facing so that we can make navigation more intuitive at the moment there's no device out there which tracks which way my, my torso, which way I'm facing. If I look that way, which way is forwards in the game? Is it over there or is it, is it where I'm, I'm facing? I'm facing you, right? So uh, when you're spinning around it becomes even more of, a, of, a, of something that to solve because no matter which way I spin around, no matter how many times, which way is forwards, it's where my torso is, for, is facing. So if we want to get avatars to match us in VR like we do in real life, we need to resolve the neck issue. It's like where I'm facing in, re in relation to where I'm looking. So um, that's another big deal. Uh, I should also mention that because we're we're turning in the real world, we get a slight centrifugal force. And when you turn with your feet on a swivel chair, you don't get it. But when a motor's turning, you absolutely feel it. Even though we're not going that fast, that reminds your brain that you've got mass. And when you've got the headset on, that mass seems to be, well it does, it's translated into the VR world. So you feel more present than, than, than certainly I've ever felt before in VR. We're showing alien isolation, uh, which is awesome because people keep screaming every five minutes. Um, and it's really great because it's a, it's, it's a first person experience. You need to navigate and we're, we're, we're explaining to people or we're demonstrating that using the right thumbstick can be uh, mitigated by turning in the real world. And the reaction we've had so far has been amazing. Well, there's a lot of headsets out there with developers. We think developers and VR enthusiasts is going to be our initial audience. Um, we want to partner with uh, first parties as, as their demo pod at retail, ideally. Um, we want ultimately for the consumer, the VR consumer, to be doing this, both in games and movies. So yes, there's early adopters out there. I think um, there's proof of that already in what Oculus has achieved. And of course, there are other headsets coming out this Christmas that we, you know, HTC is coming out this Christmas. So uh, we'll be supporting that too.
Yeah, we, we support uh, and complementary to all headsets out there. So if you've got a, a Gear VR or a Google Cardboard, absolutely this works with it. And for all the reasons of, of being able to be turned around and charging your device, um, it's really important to be on a, on a, on a rotating, motorized rotating platform. So, uh, so we, we've got a table where you can bring your steering wheel accessory or a flight stick. And you don't need the table if you're using a joypad. We're not replacing any controllers, we're complementing them. And ultimately, I think we all buy into the concept that we'll have an outwards facing camera that can do hand tracking. Absolutely, the Roto would be perfect for that. Um, in fact, we can even help track the, your hands because if the camera is mounted on the table, then we've got a nice, um, uh, should we say, sphere where we can track your hands as opposed to on your head, you might lose your hands if your, ha if your hands are away from the, from the vision of the camera. So um, yeah, we, absolutely, we're complementary to what we believe will be the future of intuitive controls uh, via your hands as well. So we've, we've created a modular system so you can buy the base unit with the pedals that clip in when you want to explore or clip out when you don't. The base unit is only uh, 65 centimeters in diameter so it just replaces your standard swivel chair. So you can, if you buy the base unit, it's 199 pounds. You can put on your own swivel chair or buy one from us. It's very comfortable. Um, you can buy the Oculus adapter which is using the slip ring solution so we can turn around indefinitely. Um, and you can add the table as well so you can bring your accessories on. But it starts from 199 pounds before Christmas. We're going to be shipping in October. I've got lots of experience in Far East manufacture. I used to live out there and uh, we're confident in our ship dates.